Welcome students, staff, and families to our fourth grade promotion ceremony. I am so excited to join with you today to celebrate our fourth grade students as they transition to a new school. Fourth graders, I am so excited for the new opportunities that await you on your next adventure. I see you as curious and engaged learners who work hard at whatever you do. Whether it's a class discussion, a soccer game, or an idea developed with friends, you put effort behind your actions and are motivated to succeed. As a leader in MeSchool, we look to instill the seven habits of happy kids in all of our daily actions, and you have developed as role models of those traits in action. When you transition to your new school next year, don't forget about those habits that have helped you be so successful here. You are ready for this. When I first saw Caribbean Kindergarten, my first thought was, wow, that's a big school, and it was. Hello everybody, my name is Alexandra and I'm a fourth grader in Ms. Rumley's class. I'm moving to Brown Nun next year for fifth grade. Over the years, my, my kindergarten thought has grown. Kirby is huge and it is an amazing school. One of my favorite memories is always the picnics at the end of the year. On our second grade picnic, we played with water balloons and we all got splashed. Another awesome memory is the Imagination Station in third grade. That was a really cool place. My favorite part of that was the tilted room. When I stood in it, I fell sideways. I guess all this, me all this fun means that I have come to what Kirby is all about, spreading the cheer. Because once you're a cougar, you'll always remember it. One thing we have learned is to have fun and always practice the seven habits. One, be proactive. Two, begin with the end in mind. Three, put first things first. Four, think win-win. Five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Six, synergize. And seven, sharpen the saw. We all are really small and together we make Kirby huge. In conclusion, I want to remember the school as I move on, as well as my first thought. Kirby is huge and it really is. So hip, hip, hooray for Kirby! Hello there, fourth graders, fourth grade families and friends. Boy, has this school year been a school year full of firsts for our class. You guys will be the first group of fifth graders to attend fifth grade at a middle school here in Girls Point in the fall. We will always remember your group as the class that started it all. We will never forget this school year for another first. For the first time, teachers and students across the world had to stay home and finish the year remotely for three months. But some of the best memories in life come from firsts. Think about the first time you rode your bike or the first time you jumped off the diving board or your first family pet. These are all memories that stick with us. 2020 is a school year that will definitely stick with us and where many memories have been made. I hope you fourth graders can look back on your school year and smile. Emerson Brown, Isabella Kalen, Christopher Coyle, Henry Danielevich, Nicholas Ferguson, Gwyneth Gilniak, Patrick Goff, Davis Grisania, Sophia Husek, Colton Katola, Jackson Katola, Maxwell Knowlton, Ava Lawler, Madison McDonald, Gerald McMillan, Mallory Moran, Quinn Schweitzer, Carrington Smith, Alexandra Walsey, Thomas Wozni, Wells Weber, Caitlin West, 
Samuel Shaw and Sophia Zarski. Welcome everyone. Today I will be saying goodbye to Kirby. Kirby is a wonderful place and even the thought of leaving Kirby makes me a little sad inside. Ever since I arrived at Kirby in first grade, it's been an amazing experience. First, I would like to thank all the teachers at Kirby. Every single teacher at Kirby is tremendous. Of course, no school would be the same without the teachers, but Kirby's teachers are really what makes it such a wonderful place. Every single teacher I've had has had an impact on me, starting with Miss Corio. Miss Corio was the f- perfect first impression of Kirby. Miss Corio was nice and funny, and she made sure you got things done. I learned a lot in her class. Next was Mrs. Farrell. Mrs. Farrell was an amazing teacher and was very welcoming. She gave as many opportunities as you could possibly give to a second grader. Mr. Eston was my third grade teacher. I had hoped all summer that I would get Mr. Eston because I had heard great things about him. Mr. Eston was beyond my wildest expectations. Mr. Eston was very creative and the funniest teacher I had in my time at Kirby. He changed my whole view on learning and made me love to read even more than I already did. Lastly, Ms. Schmitz is my fourth grade teacher. Ms. Schmitz is terrific and is very caring. Ms. Schmitz is amazing at making Kirby feel like home and is very, very nice. One of the big reasons Kirby is so great is because of all the fun activities, like one of Kirby's biggest events of the year, Field Day. I have so many good Field Day memories. One of my favorite things about Field Day is that you have a partner. I've had the same Field Day partner every Field Day. One of my closest friends, Jack Babcock. One of the best things every year is no doubt the class parties. At Kirby, you have a class party for Halloween and Christmas. Last, but for sure not least, is all the fun field trips you go on at Kirby. So my favorite field trips I've been on are every year we see Brownell School play. In third grade, we went to the Imagination Station. And this year, we went to Lansing to go to the Capitol Building. There are many lessons that Kirby has taught me in my four years, but there's one in particular. That lesson is home is where the heart is. Kirby has felt like my second home ever since I arrived. Kirby taught me that you you can have more than one home and that your home doesn't necessarily have to be a house. Kirby will always feel like a second home even after I leave. This quote is my favorite quote and I think it is a great reflection of my time at Kirby. I don't care if my glass is half full or half half empty. I'm just happy to have a glass. To me, this quote means two things. First, there's always a bright side. And second, you're very fortunate. Kirby Kirby has taught me both of these things. And although I will be leaving Kirby very soon, I'm excited about a new adventure full of new people and new lessons. Hello, fourth grade students, families, and friends. I'm honored to be speaking to you today at the fourth grade promotion ceremony on June 11th, 2020. It certainly has been a challenging spring, but boys and girls, I've been so impressed with how you took on the challenge of the last three months. Learning at home, you've demonstrated some very important life skills. You adapted, you were flexible, and you've persevered. I'm so proud of each and every one of you for taking on remote learning during this time. Martin Luther King said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. And if you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Boys and girls, you moved forward. You are now ready for middle school. You will face new challenges, I'm sure of it, but you have proven that you can succeed. I congratulate you for your effort. I will miss you at Kirby, but I know you will continue to do great things. I've loved being your teacher. Best wishes to you now and always. Jack Babcock. James Blake, Elizabeth Boyle, Sophia Brennan, Thomas Brennan, Maximus Brooks, Morgan Bunn, Delaney DeMarco, Lucas Ferguson, Costa Fotis, 
Hudson Frey, Gavin Gurgix, William Hanoyan, Fazan Hussan, Terry Kelly, Zoe Kingsley, Anne McCarran, Santino Radu, Quinn Ryan, Cicely Spangler, Avery Stevenson, Maya Usher, James Van Mark, Jackson Watson, Kylie White. For starters, I would just like to say that Kirby is one of the most magical places you will ever go to. All of the teachers have their own special personalities and unique qualities. I have also gotten to participate in many fun events and special groups. Kirby is magical because I can be myself there. Some qualities of the wonderful teachers I have had include Miss Grant. Miss Corn supported my love of horses and even let me meet her horses, Abigail and Zoe. Miss Bagley always listens to her students attentively and gives great insight. Miss McGill in music class will try and make everything fun. Miss Malian set the tone for Kirby and taught everyone how to properly behave and act. Miss Matheson took the time to make me feel comfortable in my classroom before school started when I found out I was not in class with any of my best friends. Miss Briggs has excellent classroom decorations and an amazing personality. Kirby makes me feel like everyone has a place somewhere that is not like normal school life. I was in the Kirby Green Team, Fire and Safety Service. Other people could be in clubs like the Lighthouse Team, previously called Student Council. I like choir because Miss McGill makes singing fun. And since we give up our recess, a time, she gives us a timely treat at the end of every four practices. I love Kirby because I could be myself. All the teachers, every room, everything was for us to be safe. Going to Brown now will be challenging, but it is a great opportunity to give us a chance to figure out what we're going to do with our lives. When I think of Kirby, I will remember great friends, amazing teachers, and the joy that the school brings. Welcome, friends, families, and our dearest fourth graders. We've spent a lot of time here at Kirby Elementary talking about leadership. And I know that this class was filled with leaders. The fourth graders were passionate about learning, trustworthy, proactive, and very strong role models in our school. But when I look back at my fourth grade class of 2020, I will always remember you as not just leaders, but trailblazers. A trailblazer is someone who courageously creates a path that no one has gone before and what a year for that. This year we abruptly left the classroom and converted to online learning. Without hesitation, you jumped in, kept working, and most importantly, you did it with a positive attitude. And now we come to our next journey. It's time for you to move on to Brownell as the first class of fifth graders. Again, I can't think of a better group of trailblazers to guide the way for years to come. Fourth graders, I am so proud of all of your hard work and I can't wait to see where this journey takes you next. Congratulations to Kirby Elementary's fourth grade class of 2020. Skylar Boomhauer. Sophia Brink. Simone Dennis. Evan Hurd. Merritt Hubner, Gabrielle 
Josephs. Sophia Coop. Layla Mansour. Alexander Nicholson. Ethan Shotko. Cole Zakaini. Hi, Kirby fourth graders. It's hard to believe that it's time for your fourth grade promotion. I still remember all of you coming to the kindergarten transition event when you were still preschoolers. I took a picture of you so we could remember who you were the next year. When you got to kindergarten in the fall, I remember passing by a group of you in the hallway and hearing you whisper, hey, it's the lady who took our pictures. With stories like that, you've made me smile from day one at Kirby. Since then, you've all matured and grown so much, and I can't wait to see what you do next. I'm sure none of you imagined you would be spending the end of your fourth grade year at home in quarantine. At times, I bet you've had mixed emotions about missing things at school, but at the same time, enjoyed spending time at home with your families. Although this was not the end of fourth grade that anyone imagined, you have years of great memories at Kirby to hold close to your heart as you move into middle school. If COVID-19 has taught you anything, it is how to keep going in the face of challenges. Through your time at Kirby, you have learned how to overcome negativity with leadership. You've taken on challenges at school and at home. And most of all, you have learned that the most powerful tool that you have as a leader is realizing that you are in control of your own choices. You can steer the bike of your future in any direction that you choose. I can't wait to see the direction you choose and what your futures hold. Kirby, fourth grade class of 2020, go forth and set the world on fire. Thank you so much for watching our virtual promotion ceremony. I wanna thank our fourth grade teachers, Mrs. Ramelay, Mrs. Schmitz, and Mrs. Valgoy for all their support and dedication to our students this year. I look forward to your new adventures at Brownell and hope that we can keep in touch. Thanks. Bye.